I personally feel that the stone sheep is the most handsome of all the sheep subspecies. It's got curling horns that actually will flare out, and in some cases similar to uh, sheep that you would hunt over in Europe and other areas. Stone sheep are interesting uh, as far as their capes are concerned. If you shoot one in early August, the cape might not be nearly as dark as if you shot the same ram in October. Plus their hair gets much longer. They're a way prettier animal a little bit later in the season. Art Thompson. Hey, Tom. Good to meet you. Great to be here, Glad man. Glad you're here. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Just in time for supper. Perfect. Um, I'd like you to hey, Tom. remember Crystal. Crystal, good to see, good you. To see you again. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I have a little surprise for you. Uh, I can see him right there, there Chad Lance. <laughs> oh, good to see you, man. You're going to be my guide? You bet. Uh, this is a surprise. Actually, the surprise is he's going to be your wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> Art and Crystal Thompson are just amazing people. They have one of the best areas, if not the best area, to stone sheep. It's near the Muncho Lake region of British Columbia. It's actually where the Alaskan Highway from the south and the north meet. It was a perfect place to hunt these sheep because it was up in the alpine. Riding into sheep camp is an adventure in itself. I mean, realistically, 15 miles back into the wilderness. And we're riding through tallest of timber in this big valley. And we're riding back through creeks and crossing rivers and up steep mountainsides get to the tree line to where a sheep camp's gonna be set up. One thing's for sure, this British Columbia is beautiful country. Stone sheep is one of the toughest to spot because of the color and where they live and you have to do, like most sheep hunting, you got to do a lot of glass hunting, but the stones are really tough to find. I spent a lot of time glassing the last couple days. You'll see a lot more sheep glassing than you will running around the mountains, so this just proves that we were in here yesterday and didn't see them, and today they're I knew they were in here because we've seen tracks in the shale, so then we found them laying up in the rocks there. Now we just got to go up there and get them. I was using Chad Lenz as a guide again. Him and I had made a pact on my bighorn hunt that I was going to go after the super slam and hunt the grand slam of wild sheep that he would be my guide. And Chad decided that we should go in early, maybe three or four days before season, find a good ram and try to get on them. The traditional way to hunt sheep is to get above them. Another technique that I like, especially for bow hunting or, or even rape hunting, getting close, is to stay under the sheep, act fairly submissive, let them see you, don't show any fast movements, you know, move slow, just let them watch you. You'll be amazed how close you can get to them, just moving under them and, and acting like a sheep. We got a pretty good situation coming up here. That ram that we're going after is up on the top there. Yeah. And just below him a couple hundred yards is that other big ram. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go after that top ram. We bump him, we don't get him. We got that other one to go after right at him. One that's tipped up real good, he's a good ram. They're both bad out there. All right, let's sneak in kind of around this way. And I think we can get real close. I've said this a lot, and I really believe it, that you need to look for a bow hunting outfitter if you're gonna go on an adventure hunt. Because a bow hunting outfitter understands that 100 yards isn't close enough. Yards, 
There they go right there. I got him, man. Hey, he's going down right there, man. <laughs> see? Yes! Right in the right in the pocket, man. <laughs> there he goes. Oh. We did it, Chad. <laughs> All right, man. First day stone, man. <laughs> stone sheep hunt. I can't believe awesome. that that big ram let us stalk right into him. You bet. First day of the hunt, the hardest sheep to get with a bow. Turned out to be one of the easier hunts that I was ever on, and it's supposed to be the hardest. It was amazing that we could turn it around and get it done that fast, but that's sometimes how it goes. Ah, nice little what a fantastic hunt. What a place. <laughs> you are the sheep man now. <laughs> Big horn, now a stone. Yep. Halfway to the Grand Slam. What an incredible accomplishment. He come there your ear. Oh, look at that blood. Check it out. Dredge. Perfect shot. Pass through. You gotta <laughs> like that kind of thing. Yes. And he didn't go too far. He's right down there. Oh man, look at this. Big stone ram. Oh man, Look at that. Big Chad. curl curl. <laughs> Look at the full curl. Nice bases. And this one saw us and walked off, got a higher vantage point, and we snuck in on him. 40 yard shot. <laughs> what an incredible hunt. With the best sheep guide on the planet, Chad Lenz, thank you so very much. You're welcome. Look at that. What a hunt. Ha, ha, ha.